Hello one and hello all and welcome to another crafting adventure. And today we're going to do part four of the hands craft kits. Yes, today I have decided I'm going to take a look at the grand piano. Now, uh, this one is significantly fewer pieces than the uh, merry-go-round we did last time. But still, I do quite like this design and I'm interested to see how easy this is to make. So, as always, we're going to open the box and find out what we have inside. So, we have the complementary piece of sandpaper that uh, can be used to file or sand down any pieces of wood that we don't need. Okay, we have the detailed instructions, very nice. Um, and again, as I mentioned before, all the parts on these sheets are nicely lettered and numbered, so they're easy to find. Pop that over there. And as always, we have the four wooden sheets, uh, each containing the parts needed to make the kit. And uh, looking at this here, it does look like we're going to have another curved piece of wood, which makes me excited because that was a lot of fun to do on the uh, wooden, uh, wooden owl kit, that's the one. So, well, let's get started with this piano and find out what we have to do for part one. We need to take part A7 here, and then we simply take these uh, A2 parts, there are 17, and they simply slot in between there, and they should run level with the end like that. And you just need to do that all the way along. Like that. Next, we need to make the sort of uh, nope, this way, the backboard by attaching part A9 onto the left side here, like so. I believe this is part A6, is then going to go in there. And this top one, which is A5, is going to slot in that way uh, with this square on the right. And the two holes there, I think that's for the flower and that's for the music notes. Okay, and next. We're going to take parts A3 and A4 here. That's going to go in there and in there. Tight fit. Nice. Then, using these two excess bits here, we're just going to slide that into there. Hopefully I can do this not too difficultly. Lovely. Then, we need to pop the two pieces on this side to hold it all together. First, we have A10 here, which should line up with all of these little uh, notches. And then A13 should cover them all up. Like that. Then we're going to pop that down here for the moment. Then we're going to take, what was it, uh, part C2 here and part C11, which should line up with that big hole on the top there. Then we're going to take, what's this one, B6, which should slide down through both of them. Um, it's probably easier to do one and then the other. Perfect. And then through here. Do, 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 do. Is that in? Yes, okay, lovely jubbly. Then this little notch on the side here should slide into this circular hole there. Oh, want to make sure it's on top. Then we're going to attach this second hole onto here and this notch should slide into that hole there. That will give us this nice hinge for the top of the piano. Then we're going to turn this upside down. We are going to take part B4, this is B4, which is going to slide onto the bottom of the whole thing, and then part B1 should just fit nicely over the top of that one. Next, we're going to turn it around and slowly open it up like that. Then, we're going to use these A8 pieces, which should nicely slot into these holes here Oops. 
one and two. Then we're going to take this piece, oops, no, this piece, which is B8. Oop, hit the camera there. That's going to go through there, and then we're going to take this part, which is B2, and just slide it through there. So this should, I suppose, rotate back and forth. Once you got the little peg in place, we can put this aside. Then we're going to take this piece here, which I believe is D10. Then we're going to attach the D7 onto here. The, uh, where is it? This one? Yes. D4 goes into the central hole there, like so. And then D2 goes up here on the top, like that. Then we're going to take D3, which should slide onto the back of those two pieces. And, oh, no. Want to make sure it goes under the uh, larger piece. And it should go on. Ah, like that. All right. From here, we're going to take part D1, which goes in there, diagonally, okay, I guess like this, and then D6, which should fit down, oop, down there, there, and that little nub goes in that hole on the other side. Once that one's in there, we're going to take D5, and that should slide across all the pieces and come down in there, like that. And that gives us this little nub on the bottom here, which should go into this hole here. With that in place, um, also make sure that this bit is actually above it before you clip it in. If it's below it, it doesn't fit. So, with this above this bit, we're going to now use these holes around the side here, which is where part A1 will go. And you just have to bend it around to fit in each of the holes. Once that's in those holes, you just need to pop part C1 on the top to give it a sturdy positioning. Once you have the back and side uh, curved into place with the top on, we can turn the whole thing upside down for we need to make the legs and these are simply these uh, C pieces which slot together like this and then slot into the hole and you just got to make three of these and this is the third one and make sure they are actually lined up and then put them in the correct hole uh, these are numbered, so be careful which ones you use. With the three legs nicely in place, we can take part uh, C3 here, slide part B5 into the top there, and then these two little nubs there should slide into the bottom here. I'll put that in with a little bit of force in a moment. And then from the back, we're going to take two of these uh, B3 parts. They're going to slide down into the base there and then up into the little hole on the back of this piece here. With the three legs and the pedals in place, we can finally turn the piano right side up one more time. Then we're going to place these two B7s oriented this way around into these holes here. Slide the music sheet onto the ends of these. So it should be like that. And finally, take these two flower pieces, put them back to back like this, and then that should simply slot into this hole on the top of the piano. Let's see if I can do this one on camera. <laughs> Like that, I will push that down a little bit more in a moment. 
Now the set is not finished yet because we must build the stool to go with the piano. Making the stool, not too difficult. We're going to take these two pieces here, slide this piece, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do down here first, should go in nicely, and then we'll do this one on this side. Okay, then we're going to turn this over, and we're going to put this up these ones here. Hopefully that should go on yep. without too much problems. Uh, you want to get it balanced. Yep. Ah, finally. Okay, so we've got the bottom part of the legs done. On top of that, we're going to put a nice D9. Please stay in focus. Well, as you can see, that's going to go down on those crosses. And then, finally, this nice D8 piece will go on the top. I'll do that off camera to save a little bit of time. And the stool is complete. Just pop that down there. And then we have our little piano and stool combo. Okay, I'm going to quickly change the camera angle so we can get a better view. Yes, I do like the design of this piano, although I will say it's uh, surprisingly delicate to put together in parts. Uh, these little rings you really want to be careful with because I think if you twisted them a little bit too much they might break. But apart from that, it is a very nice design. It looks exactly like it's supposed to and with a bit of careful movement you can open this up try to avoid hitting the camera and then this should slot in there and hold it in place perfect now this one doesn't move as much as the ferris wheel and the merry-go-round did but i think aesthetically this is a very nice one indeed and uh, with a fewer number of parts it was considerably easier and quicker to make but satisfying nonetheless. Yes, the pieces fit together nicely uh, as before, no sharp pieces to cut yourself on there, so anyone theoretically could make this with a little bit of care. But there you are, that is the end of the fourth uh, adventure along the way of these uh, handscraft models and a big thank you to the company again for sending these out to me. Um, if you are interested in these products, their website is in the description with their Facebook page. So please do check them out. They have a lot of things on there which are all really cool. And I'd love to have a go at especially some of the bigger ones. But thank you all for watching. Uh, if you do uh, enjoy the contents, please do like and subscribe. It does help my channel out. But just watching, well, makes me happy. So thank you very much. And well... I look forward to the next video and please have a wonderful week.